That's a good one. Oh, there we go. That one attacked it on the surface. All right, so there's a new app that's just blowing up ever since they had a Super Bowl commercial. It's called Timu or something like that. Um, T-E-M-U. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to check it out and see what kind of fishing gear they have, see if they have anything kind of unique to it. Um, I have a little bit of reservations about it because it kind of seems like another version of Wish or something along those lines. Um, so I'm going to check it out and see what kind of fishing gear they have and if they've got anything unique to it, something that I couldn't find on Wish or Amazon or something. But uh, I'm not really expecting anything like that, so just something that pops out is unique that I haven't seen before. That's what I'm going to look for. See if I can get some good deals and then catch fish on it. Just type in the word fishing and see what comes up. Uh, yep, it's all stuff that's all over Amazon and Wish. This reel here, I bought that reel off Amazon. I think it was like the cheapest decent reel on Amazon, but $8 is not a bad price for that. I think that's a better price than Amazon. Uh, these lures, those are everywhere. Hook remover. There's a $13 bait casting reel. Hmm. These shrimp, uh, whopper ploppers, bite alarms. Uh, that uh, fishing rod there, the telescopic rod, that's six dollars that's not bad that looks different it's got like wooden grips on it let's see what that's about it looks like the handle especially on the bait caster is a little bit too short but I mean it looks cool I've never seen one with wooden grips usually it's cork or foam uh, let's go to the other pictures rod doesn't look like it's very well made. The, uh, the actual rod itself looks like it's made out of cheap carbon fiber stuff. Um, Six dollars though. Hmm. Free shipping on all orders. Okay, maybe I'll try the bait caster or the spinner. Ah, that the handle's so short though. It's gonna have really weird leverage trying to set the hook on it, especially with the bait caster. So, you know what, let's go with the spinning for $6. I've never seen that cicada lure, cicada lure like that with, that's weird, it's got wheels on it. I wonder if there's a video on, on how that works. Like the the wings are wheels. Are they like wind up or something? How does it work? I mean, that's cool, but it just looks like a regular, typical topwater lure. It is unique, but uh, not not feeling it. Segmented swim bait. But the swim bait does look a little bit different than some of the other ones I've seen, but. It is the spawn season, maybe a bass colored one. How big is it? Four inches, ten centimeters. It's that might be alright. It's not the same as the typical swim baits you see that have that cloth in the middle. These seem to have hinges in them. Let's get the bass. Dragonfly though. I have seen those before, but that one does look a little bit different. It's got like a, a jitterbug type spoon on it, or bill, bill, different wings than what I've seen on Wish, so let's check that out. Top water. It's almost springtime, and it's almost time for the dragonflies, and I know a couple places where the bass go crazy for dragonflies. So let's pick out color here. How big is this thing? Wait, what happened to the $2 one? Why is it $8 now? 
That's the same color as the one over here. What the hell? The same color. But one's $8 and one's $2. What's the difference? Kind of like Wish, where they have misleading listings trying to get you get more money out of you. That's the green one actually looks kind of cool. Five colors, 1.8 meters, so they're six foot rods, or five foot nine. Kind of short. They they look really cheap. Like I bet that rod is gonna break. It's probably gonna be more like a cardboard than a carbon fiber. Why am I green? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling that green. So do that. Uh, okay, so I've got two rods to try out. Two lures. Find some fishing reels. Something that I haven't tried yet. Most of these look like they're going to be those cheap plastic ones. There's a nine dollar one. You know what? That second rod, that green rod, is kind of universal. It's either casting or spinning. So, oh, there we go. Avocado mango. That's the one. 1598. There we go. Cheap left hand one that matches that green rod. Not really, but close enough. Add to cart. Avocado and mango. I like the, the color names that they chose for those. Avocado, mango, matcha, and blueberry. Green apples and lemons. And peach tiramisu. It's hilarious. I'm spending literally three times the price on the reel than I am on the rod, which I guess that's about normal. So this one, 2,000 size. Doesn't look like one of the cheap plastic ones. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like one I have, so I, and it's got the brand, same brand as the, uh, the rod I'm going to put it on, so I think I'm going to go with that one. And it's a dollar cheaper than the other one I have on here, so. And they accept PayPal, that's cool. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and finish checking out here, and then we're going to wait and see how they come. Uh, the question I have now is, is it going to be like Wish or Amazon, where you order a bunch of stuff and they ship it all separately, or do you get it all at once? So that's what we're going to find out. So, now we're going to just go sit by the door and see what, see when they come. Okay, so, it did not take nearly as long as Wish, so, it came from Canada instead of coming from China. So there you go. Um, it does appear as though they shipped everything all together, so let's find out. There should be six things in here. Two rods, two reels, two lures. One rod. Two rods. A smashed box with the reel in it. Can't blame Timu for that, because that would be a USPS thing. But there's the reel. Actually, it doesn't feel too bad. A little bit of looseness in the gears there, but it feels metal. Like, it feels better than a Abu Garcia Black Max. So I think this reel might be alright. It's kind of nice. Uh, here's the other reel, spinning reel. Gold Shark King. I 
think I got. I tried to get an ultralight size. I asked for a fifteen hundred. I think. There you go. That's about. Uh, I like the collapsible handles like that, where they lock into place. That's that reel feels pretty good actually too. Into reverse on. It's pretty smooth. It's got a big handle on it like that. The wheel. That's not something I'm used to, but I'm used to the flat grips or like a barrel looking handle. But that seems all right. That might be decent capacity on the line spool. And then the dragonfly top water. It's got like a jitterbug lip on it. Dragonfly. Just realized I'm showing everything to the light, not to the camera. And the. Uh, Jointed swim bait, baby bass. So this stuff should all work right now because it's springtime. So I need to get out there, and try it. Let's take a look at the rods. This one's in a bag. That's actually kind of nice. It's not wood. It's just a wood-looking. Uh, grip. I thought it would actually be wood or cork or something, but no, it's just the regular composite plastic painted to look like wood. Eyelets look alright. It's got a red tip. I do like metal eyelets over the ones with ceramic or plastic inserts because those always get chipped or something and end up splitting the line, cutting the line. So. This is not nearly as long as I expected it to be, but it looks like it'll, uh, I don't know, I think I heard a crack there. Yeah. Uh, although this one does feel a lot cheaper, like that one feels, the other one feels a lot better than this one does. Same brand. And this one, yeah, this one is a lot cheaper. It's got plastic inserts on the eyelets, which I was just talking about a minute ago. And uh, the material it's made out of feels more cardboardy. So that other rod is definitely better. And this one's another short one. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. That's not good. This is a short. Also a short rod. This, thing. this one's 180. It's supposed to be longer than the other one, but it feels shorter. This one here feels kind of cheap, but it is miles ahead of this one. But there we go. Yeah, got everything. Uh, some of it's subpar. Some of it's surprisingly good. The reels are surprisingly better than I expected them to be. Uh, as so far, anyway. They have yet to be tested, but so far they seem better than I expected them to be. Uh, one of the rods is about what I expected it to be, the other one's subpar. Uh, the lures are what I expected them to be. So, let's get out on the water. Let's get these spooled up and get out on the water. I've been trying to work on these, this video for a while now, but started raining a lot re recently and we haven't had time uh, but we got a nice break in the rain here everything's still wet but I'm walking up to this pond I'm gonna give it a shot and see if anything will bite try the dragonfly here first What? It sinks, what the hell? It 
doesn't cast very well. I need a heavier bait. A topwater bait that sinks. That's just brilliant. Genius. It's also not heavy enough to cast out anywhere. But you have to be able to force it up to the surface and then kind of skitter it across the top. But that's not easy to do. Oh, wait. Had some of the swirl. Oh, they're biting it. Some of the swirling at it. Okay, there we go. That was cool. I actually had a couple of bites there. If you can get this thing to land right, it wants to land upside down most of the time. And when it does that, it dives. That's why it's diving, but... If you can get it to land right, kind of skitter it across the surface. That was my best cast so far. Oh, that was... There was a blow up on it there for sure. Okay, that time. Got one! Gotta set my drag, but I got one on it. There we go. It actually worked. Did not take very long. Okay, there we go. Little bass on the dragonfly. It is a terrible lure, but it works. So there we go. The uh, reel, I need to, to adjust my drag here, but the reel worked. The rod handled it. You idiot. That's awesome. Awesome. That was pretty cool. Well, we did get one down out of the way. Wasn't a very big bass, but all the gear handled it. And I was actually impressed. Big caster with the swim bait. No, this rod is not nearly as nice as the other one. The other rod is built, made a lot better, higher quality. This one, not so much, but the reel seems solid. Try to do this without back backlashing. Oh, okay. I was able to cast that one out pretty far. Uh, there's no trigger grip on this rod. Let's get that lure in closer so I can see what it kind of movement. Oh, yeah, it's, you know what? It's got a decent little, it wants to kind of curve up sideways. Oh, oh, wow, I had one bite it right there. It wants to kind of turn a little bit sideways, and it does sink kind of fast, but it's got a nice movement. And I backlashed. All right. Most of the time when people are fishing with a braided line like this, especially something that's such a high visibility, you're going to use a, uh, a leader, a monofilament or a fluorocarbon leader. Uh, but, like on the other reel here, I've got a darker, almost a black line on it, and that's low visibility, so you don't really necessarily need a leader on it. Leaders do make them work a little bit, bit more effectively, but it's not necessary. This one here, such a lightweight line, a leader is not really an option on it, because this is seriously a very lightweight braided line. Uh, but, if you take a black sharpie or black marker of some kind, let's see, it just color, get it on that the line and this black marker will make the line invisible in the water. Gotta do a couple of passes over it. What I did on this is I took my knife and put a split down the felt of the tip of the marker so the line just slips through that slit. Alright, so I put the, the bass swim bait on the spinning reel, spinning rod. 
because that other one, it wasn't the reel's fault. The reel was actually performing pretty well. I'm not sure how it would handle with the fish on it. I'm not sure how the rod would handle the fish. But it, it was actually performing a little better than I expected it to, honestly. Uh, but that backlash in the line is just, uh, not, it's, it's unusable right now. So, putting it on the spinning reel for now. Oh, there we go. Oh, that one attacked it on the surface. Topwater blow up on the swim bait, and it's a decent fish. That's a good fish. I made a big splash over there, and it kind of flopped around a little bit, and that thing just ate it. Think of that. Okay. That's a nice fat fish right there. I'll try not to get a treble hook in my hand. That's pretty good. That's a two pounder right there. It's not very long, but that is a fat fish. On the swim bait. Top water is definitely a thing right now. Because that thing, it, I smacked the surface over there and he ate it almost instantly. That was awesome. And that rod held up pretty nicely. The reel handled it well. I'm not sure I would have been able to do that with the other rod. There we go, there's another one on the swim bait. It's another decent one. Yep, whoa. I'm also liking this. this. This is a very short rod, but I'm liking it. It is handling these fish pretty well. The reel is working well. Look at that, that's another solid one. Not as nice as the last one. It's actually longer than the last one, but not as fat. There we go. That bass, baby bass swim bait is killing it so far. Dragonfly did pretty good too. These Timu baits, man. This is, this is some quality fish. Yeah. What is wrong with these fish? I throw them out that way and they beach themselves. There's one right there at the bank. Ugh. That's three, three solid fish on this, this swim bait. This is the longest one so far, for sure. Come on, turn on. There we go. Three. This one kept swiping at me earlier. He's hooked pretty good. I might, might need my pliers to get this one. That's the best one right there. Longest one, anyway. It's not the fattest. That first one was fat. But it was also the shortest. But it definitely had the most weight to it. There we go. That swim bait is killing it today. Oh, battery. There we go. Swim bait's killing it today. This one's got the most defined colors out of all of them so far. Let me put him back where he was. There we go. 
a good one. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> huh. oh. What the fuck? I'm gonna put that here. Well, it's catch and release, so yeah. they probably did stock it at one point. And that's pretty. Yeah. That's a big. <laughs> that a bass? Yep, yeah, that's the biggest one I caught so far today. I caught like six this morning. Make sure my camera's still working. When did you get this one? <laughs> uh, just recently. I bought it on Timu. I don't get an ad for that. I feel like yeah. it's a scam. Well, I mean, there you go. I just keep growling. Or is that something over here? That's a bird over there. So, so that's a solid bass, though. The birds don't catch and release. Do you get the <laughs> well, like you only go to this one. Well, that one there's like other people's property between here and there, so uh -huh. I don't want to walk across somebody else's property. <laughs> He's gonna keep coming back like that, uh, that one episode of uh, King <laughs> of the Hill. <laughs> <laughs> 